Hello guys, today I want to show you kind of a trick with polymorphic relationships, how to query them faster with one example. That example is taken from our premium tutorial where we compared belongs to many against polymorphic relationships in many to many scenario, like for example, task could be assigned to a group, to a position or to a user. And for that you can use belongs to many or polymorphic. But in this video, I want to show you specifically polymorphic relations query and how to make it faster. If you want the full article with comparison, the link will be in the description below. But topic of this video is, for example, if you have three relationships with morphed by many and the data in the database is like this. So you have tasks table and to assign those tasks to either group, user or position, you have this polymorphic table with relationship to task ID and morphs to assignable type and assignable ID. And your task in the controller is to show the tasks that are assigned to a logged in user by their user ID, group ID or position ID. And a typical scenario for doing that would be in task controller, something like this. So utilizing where has relationships three times. So task where has groups or where has positions or where has users. And that would work, but that is not the fastest way. Let me show you a faster way and compare the performance with debug bar. If we execute that controller and load the page, here's Laravel debug bar at the bottom. Here's the list of tasks and the query is this. So the main query with polymorphic is this. So select from tasks where exist groups with join or exists position with join or exists user with join. And that query takes 0.6 of a second on the database with 100,000 records. So I've seeded 100,000 tasks to measure the performance. So is this number okay or not? Let me show you an alternative. So the problem with this query in general, if you think about it, we don't need groups, we don't need positions and we don't need users. We just need to filter in the intermediate assignables table, the IDs of those records. So we don't need to actually join them or call where exists. So what I see people don't often do with polymorphic many to many relationships is what if we create a model specifically for those assignables for that pivot table. And then we can do where has not on the relationship on polymorphic, but where has on that pivot table. Let me show you. So I have just done PHP artisan make model assignable. That's it. I didn't change anything in the model. That's the default Laravel. Automatically it works with a table called assignables with plural form. And then in the task model, let's introduce one more relationship like this task has many assignables because in the database table, we have this task ID field. So what we actually need to query is not where groups equal something, but where assignables with type and group ID. So this is the alternative query with that relationship. We're doing where has assignables and we do it only once because it's the same table. And within that where has, we have three conditions, either assignable type is group and we have group ID or assignable type position or assignable type user. And let's comment out previous query so we wouldn't have any cache or anything and relaunch that page and see how faster it is by how much. And let's see if the list is the same. So it should start with task 18. We refresh, task 18 is still here and the query is even shorter visually and see the difference in the performance instead of 0.6 of a second, 0.06 of a second. So almost 10 times. And it's pretty logical. It doesn't query where it exists on three tables, on three big tables. Instead, it joins one table, look through that table once with three conditions. So it's uncomparably faster with the same result. Result is the same because we need tasks. As I mentioned before, we don't need those groups, positions and extra tables. We need just filter by them and we can filter by them by querying intermediate pivot table instead of doing where has on the relationship. And also let's use another way to measure those two queries with benchmarks. So it would be totally fair, not just in a view of blade. 
So I've commented out all old code and prepared benchmark DD. There's benchmark function in Laravel where you can pass the array of callback functions and it would just launch those functions and compare the performance, how fast it was this one versus that one. And also you can specify how many times. So 10 iterations and let's see what are the average times for those if we launch the page with benchmarks. And this is the result. I will zoom it in on average. The first version is 0.7 of a second. The second version is 0.1 of a second. It's not 10 times faster. That's why it's good to have benchmarks like this separately from controllers or something or double check. But still, the performance gain is really significant. So yeah, the lesson from here is if you need to perform some query on relationships, check if there's no better way to maybe not touch the table two levels above. Maybe you can get that data querying just the pivot table. And again, if you want the full example of comparing many to many versus polymorphic in that particular scenario, so versus those tables, the link to that premium tutorial will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.